What's up, what's up, y'all? It's Dewan. We're back with another video. So it's Sunday. Another post meal walk. So I'm kind of liking the way I'm doing these now, these videos, because I I usually it it I'm not consistent enough walking after I eat. So usually it keeps me honest, right? Because I say, all right, I have to shoot a video today. I try to shoot a video every day. And it's best if I do it uh, when walking because I get to kill two birds with one stone. So I'm trying to fit it into a lifestyle. It makes it easier for me to be consistent. But anyways, guys, I want to uh, just dig a little bit deeper in what I'm seeing in this market. What I'm seeing in this market is nothing short of price suppression. And I'm going to give you a couple reasons why I think, in my opinion, we're seeing price suppression with Bitcoin and thus the greater cryptocurrency market. Uh, one of the things that we do notice is that the government of Germany has been selling its Bitcoin holdings. I think it holds almost 5,000 Bitcoin, maybe a little less. It's been selling the past seven days to, to two weeks. And um, with no reason that was disclosed that I saw in articles or anything, but I just know it's been selling and just transferring, moving around Bitcoin. It, it, you know, and that's just not it by itself. Uh, we talk about um, the big. We're seeing, we're seeing that uh, we're seeing a lot of things. Um, the Mount Gox, Mount Gox Exchange, is finally starting its payout of Bitcoin. Uh, to those creditors that was harmed in, in 2014 Mount Gox exchange. So all this stuff is coming about around the same time, y'all. It's like literally within the last two weeks. And I think that's quite coincidental when I, when you come to think about um, the fact that just about, what, last month, there was less than a million Bitcoin on exchanges in total. And so now they're seeing more bitcoin hit exchanges uh the past couple weeks due to those three th those three things uh probably in a major sense and it just makes you some things that make you go hmm you know makes you wonder but we know that uh election season is coming up for the u.s Le uh the u.s is a large large financial hub for everything for asset holding and uh bitcoin etf holding right the B bitcoin etfs hold the most bitcoins uh the u.s ones the u.s etf so um i think personally and then you got to look what's on the line this is a election uh topic bitcoin is an election topic so you got to look at what is on the line at this point and that is um you know bitcoin's a topic right the rights of custodying bitcoin is a topic um even the tax implications of Bitcoin should be a topic. And so when we look at that, you you know, it all comes together now. Um, I, I think nothing much is going to come past on anything until we get closer to choosing a, a new leader of the free world this coming election. And, um, you know, that's just something to pay attention to. So I do believe the price is being suppressed I mean, if you look at the chart, I talked about it before. We were at the breakout point before, you know, hitting like a little double top in the past, I want to say, uh, you know, a few weeks um, before we started pulling down a little bit more. I still think we're going to shape up to be a right shoulder on that inverted head of shoulder. It's going to take us up to clear blue skies, right? Anything going above 75 and up, and that can happen pretty quick. Also, what I'm noticing is that on the volume for Bitcoin, uh, that volume is low, 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 and I'm looking at the monthly. Now I can look at this, and you can look at this in a couple of ways. The volume is low because uh, as Bitcoin's value cr increases and increases, um, you'll come to find out that there's not going to be many things that uh, it doesn't take much Bitcoin dollar value wise to buy things, right? It is, it's not. It's going to take less Bitcoin in order to that's needed to be traded just to purchase things, right? That's needed to be sold. So, you know, back then, you know, you could buy Bitcoin for 10 bucks. Now you could buy it for about $57,000. And it doesn't take as many of them 
for someone to sell it and, and need what they want, right? So you start seeing the volume lower up, but also I want to uh, attribute that to the fact that as the volume slows down, that just means that there's more hodlers. There's more people not willing to sell it. They're moving these Bitcoins off of exchanges. And so what that also tells is that the liquidity is lower for Bitcoin, which usually can lead up to some type of volatility to the upside or downside but something some very strong volatility what i'm i'm just painting the picture that hey this price suppression going on fundamentals are there hash rate is up uh having just happened um president uh the u.s is becoming is wanting to adopt it full force. I mean, and then the next leader, likely Trump, would adopt it full force. So you tell me what's going on, right? But uh, nothing. But what I do see this as is a huge opportunity to buy it. <laughs> I mean, it's just a blessing. Is you know, people can always say it's a blessing, but it's just been a blessing to buy it because these are not real market headwinds, y'all. This is nothing. All right, all right, good. There's nothing really wrong with the, the asset or the market. These are just market movements. These are market events. I meant, sorry, y'all. I'm just a little distracted, but you know, you get the picture. So all I'm just bringing today is just some thoughts about what I'm seeing. The Mount Goxes, the, all this stuff, Germany. Uh, I mean... Man, you even add in the fact that the U.S. Congress is um, looking to overturn this bill or looking to overturn the veto that Biden did to a bill that was presented um, to pretty much stop banks from custodying cryptocurrency. So Congress, who passed the bill, they said it was, hey, they, they see no problem in crypto custodying um, on banks custody and crypto they saw no problem with it now you starting to see that they're actually considering overturning that veto and they're going to start that July 9th so think about that y'all when they're setting up the infrastructure for this Trump will likely win and uh, this will allow banks to custody crypto for their, for their customers um once that happens i mean it's pretty much set up for the rest of the world to catch up right because we know that the big institution money is already there so anyway guys i'm gonna keep this short it's another hot one i'm gonna get at y'all to next time